so today I'm working with the lower back and as you can tell the lower back we have cupping so we have these cupping sets right here that are helping with cellular regeneration and it's actually helping with the recovery process of the lower back via the red light and it's a medical grade light so that's why you have the higher properties of recovery incorporated with the myofascial decompression now the interesting factor is is that when we go up you can actually see right here that there's a little bit of tension on the side but check this out as we work inwards you can see how you can hear the tension begin to disappear and actually earlier it was a little bit more louder but just polishing these ribs and the reason why you want to polish the ribs like this because all of this tension pulling will put pressure on the erector spinae and by putting pressure on the erector spinae it will actually travel down past the quadratus lumborum and down here into this hip further causing densification to the glute and that in turn can cause adhesions to form and causing tension all throughout the whole lower back and into the upper back Just like that, we begin to work out all the tension. And whenever you find an area that is, whenever you find an area that is a little bit more tense, you want to go ahead and apply heat. That's why we're using the heated gua sha. So go ahead and do that. As it loosens, I begin to work deeper. And we continue to polish the, the deeper layers of fascia and tension and continue to trace it. But this is an example of how, but this is an example of how tension in the body can travel from one area to another and the importance about working global tension versus just localized tension.